Hello my friends, in our last section, we populated all the product data inside a landing page like this. So now what we need to do is to make the load more feature. So now we fetched all of the product data at once, but it is actually not good. So at once we are going to just fetch only 8 data from the MongoDB. After that, if we click this load more button, we will fetch it more data like that so to do like this the first we need to uh, make a load more funk button but we already have it in here so the next thing we need to do is the make the unclick function for the load more button so come back to our text editor here landing page uh scroll down and in the button we give the unclick and load more so we need to make this function i just see here const load more function and then page so before we keep making this load more functions so uh, there are something we need to know so that is this skip and limit method that comes from the mongodb if i explain about this skip is the position from where you start fetching the product data uh, inside the MongoDB. So if there are a lot of data inside the one collection, like if we have a uh, 100 data inside one collection, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or this skip means where do we start from? So if the skip is the zero, we start fetching the data from the first thing. If the limit is the six, we will get the data from 0 to 6. So now we are inside uh, the products collection. Uh, inside the products collection, there are 12 results. So 12 results. So if we try to fetch the this product result, uh, it just comes from this first one, and second one, and third one. So if our skip is the 0, it will start fetching from this one, but if this skip is from the three, I will, it will start fetching from this one, not just the first one. And this limit means if this limit is the three, it will just get one, two, three. Uh, if you can understand right now, maybe you will really understand why we are really using this one. So don't worry about it. So if we go back to our text editor so we need to make the state for the skip and the limit so use the state is a skip uh, initial state is the zero because uh, first we want to start it from the zero because the, we need to get all of the data from the start so and then we also need to have the limit state, user state, and limit. So if we see here, first I want to have only eight data. So I will give the limit as a eight. So inside in here, uh, we need to do like this, skip, escape, plus limit. So when we refresh the page, First, the skip needs to be the zero. But after that, if we click this load more button, skip needs to be eight. The reason why this skip has to be eight is because we already have eight data. So we need to fetch the data from the here because we already get the eight data up here. So we need to skip this eight data and then start fetching from this one. That's why it needs to be eight. So we can do like this, skip now zero and remit will be eight. So that's why it will be eight. So if we click this unload button, we need to fetch all of the data again. So we need to do axios and post like this and API and product. But 
you know, like this one will be really same as this one. So no need to type all of this one again in here because it will be also like products and get product. So totally same, totally same. So we just need to declare this one like this, get product and like this. And we do this, we trigger this one whenever this dorm is loaded. And then we also trigger this function when we click this roadmap button. So do it like this. But the difference is the variable we need to put in here has to be the different. So like this variable and this variable has to be different. So variable we need to put this skip information in here skip like this we also need to put the limit information come from this limit and we also need to put more information if we have the search function and this filter function so we need to put more but we don't have this feature right now so we will skip it just for now so we will just put these two information right now inside in here and even oh, when we trigger this function at the first time we also need this one but this one needs to be escaped from this state so now we have this variable to send to the backend so we need to change this api so first we need to go to the product controller product and here we need to change this one because we have more condition and first i'm going to write something and then i will explain it so i think that is better let order So what these are is so order and sort by is like order by and sort by inside the uh, MySQL or Postgres. So just uh, we give some condition for this MongoDB. So when you so we are telling the MongoDB. So when you fetch the data, we you need to keep this order and keep this uh, sort by and you need to get only six items if we don't define how many things you need to get as a limit or you will just get the 100 and you will also start from the zero or if we already click the load more button and you can just skip the sixth one and then after that you can start fetching it and then we put this one like this as a method so this MongoDB recognize, ah, with this kind of conditions, I need to fetch the data. So that's what we are doing right now. So, so I'm going to save it and then I will go back to our application. And, and now we only fetch eight data first time. Um, before we fetch the more than eight data, so when we load this page, but now we only have eight data because the we come in here, we just uh, set this limit as a eight. That's why we get just only eight data. And then I'm going to just click this load more button, so we will see what will happen. Okay, <laughs> so now we have uh, four more data. 
but we actually ignore the previous data. The reason is after we fetching the data in here, is that we overwrite all of the data we got previously. So that's why we need to keep we need to make it like this. So now here we can see a products in here. So if we click this load more button, look, we can see the three more data in here after these eight data. But there is one more problem we need to solve. That is this load more button because we don't have any more product lab to show in here, but we can still see this load more button. So we actually need to hide this load more button when we don't have any product left to show. So to do that, we need to go back to our text editor in here. First, we need to make one more state in here named post size. This one's initial state is zero. What this post size is, um, when we first load the page, we fetch this eight data. So this post size will be just eight. But if we click load more button, so we had four more data in here. So now the post size is four. So only when we have these eight data, we have a possibility to have more data to show by clicking this load more. So only when this post size is the eight, we need to show load the more button. So this is what we need to do. So to get this post size, we need to go, we need to go to the product controller. And in here, we just not only send this product into the front end, we also need to send post size. And this come from the products and length. So we get this post size inside the landing page in here. So response and data and post size. This is the post size. So we have this set post size here. And then we put this response data post size in here. So we get the post size in here inside this state. So if this post size is a greater or equal to the limit, which is the eight size. So this post size is eight or greater than eight. We will let this load more button appear like this. So I'm going to click save it. And then we go back to our application in here. So now we have eight data, and then I'm going to click load more. So we see four more data in here. After that, uh, finally, we couldn't see that load more button anymore. Uh, there is one more last thing we need to do really quick is we come back to our uh, text editor. And inside the load more function in here, we also need to change this skip state because now the skip state was the zero, but we just uh, plus this skip with the limit. So we also need to change this skip uh, state like this. So that is all thing we need to do. So thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section. Thank you.